Hi, this is Malochka, and today I'm going to be demonstrating some simple techniques in Photoshop that will add some very spectacular looks to your renders of figures like these gods, goddesses. We're going to be uh, starting out with, like I did with all of these pictures, a plain figure that I rendered in Photoshop and saved as a PNG file. Saving as a PNG file saves the figure as on a transparent background which can be very useful as uh, you're going to see here. Uh, I'm going through and repri preparing some minor wardrobe malfunctions with the clone tool here. Next I'm going to be using the dodge tool which if you look in your toolbar it looks like a flat spoon. I'm going to be using the dodge tool to uh, highlight, bring out the areas of highlight. I'm using around a 20 pixel dodge tool and just lightly going over some of the lighter areas in the figure to kind of bring them out. I'm going to be going up next to a larger size dodge tool around 40 pig pixels, very soft edges on the dodge tool, uh, and going over these same areas to blend in for a more natural look to these areas of highlight. which don't really change the figure that much, but gives it a little pop. The next thing that I'm going to be doing is copying the entire figure to a pre-rendered background that I got as a freebie. It was created by an artist called Mystical. Thank you very much, Mystical. I just want to say I don't actually work this fast. This is kind of an illusion created by the screen capture program that I I use. I'm photoshopping like a chipmunk on crack right here. I also just realized that I said that I rendered in pose in Photoshop. I did not render in Photoshop. I rendered in Poser. Our lovely figure on this transparent background saved as a PNG file, not JPEG, but a PNG. As you see, I'm just using a tiny little portion of this larger picture from my picture. And I'm going to go through and do some little things to enhance my background now that it's a background and not just a, a tiny detail of a larger picture. I'm going to use the burn tool and uh, um, darken, enhance the contrast to bring out the stars. I'm also going to add another layer behind my transparent figure and use a brush to put in some twinklies. This brush was created by an artist named Pat Slash. I could not find this brush for sale. I think maybe it was a, a special Christmas freebie, but Pat Slash and Ron at uh, Dawes have similar packets to this where you can put in these lovely little sparkles. And now I'm bringing back in my figure on its transparent background. And I'm going to quickly go through and do uh, the image enhancement technique that I went through in the first tutorial. I duplicate my the layer that my figure is on bring up the saturation, bring up the contrast, the brightness a little bit, and then I am going to apply a Gaussian blur to this layer and change the blending mode to soft light in the layers palette. This just gives a healthy glow to the figure. Because this lady is supposed to be a, a goddess, I wanted a very ethereal look for her. Uh, I wanted her to be a little bit transparent. Now I could have done this by going to the figure layer and simply adjusting the transparency. Instead of the, doing that, I have gone to the figure layer, selected kind of an outline as I'm doing here. I've feathered my selection to out to 20 pixels and then I'm clearing it because I have two layers of the figure. She's just slightly transparent. 
just a little see-through at the edges. And now to give the figure even more of a supernatural look, I'm going to go through, I'm selecting some areas that would be in shadow. I'm going to select several areas and feather my selection out to 20, 20 pixels so that it will blend in nicely. And then I am going to fill these areas in, on, this is on a separate layer by itself, I'm going to fill these areas in with blue. And then adjust the blending mode in the layers menu to, I think I'm going to use vivid light for that. Here we go, here comes the blue fill on a separate layer, so I'm not altering the original. And then changing the blending mode to vivid light, which gives us some kind of bruised looking uh, blue shadows on the figure. The, but it does pick up the blue from the planet below. And now I'm going to do make another layer above this blue layer and select some of the areas that would be in highlight. Here I go, selecting several different layers, feathering my selection out to 20 pixels. Oh, I added another layer of blue. Here I go. And I'm going to fill this layer with orange. I think I experimented around with some different types of blending modes. Instead of going with vivid light here, I think I went with overlay. Change the blending mode to overlay. I encourage you to experiment. You can get some radically different effects by using different blending modes in the layers menu. The great thing that you can do with the layers menu. And speaking of the usefulness of the layers menu, the next thing that I wanted to do is uh, to add a glow to the figure, an all around glow to the figure. I go to the layer that my original figure is on, which is now a little bit transparent, left click, this brings up a menu where you have lots of layer effects. I'm going to outer glow. I always have to adjust the size of outer glow. It's usually too small. If you adjust it out, it makes a very lovely glow. So here we go. There she is, nice and glowing. But I wanted a little more than that. I wanted to uh, give more highlight to a couple different areas. And so I made a new layer below the figure, below the layer my figure is on. And I'm selecting around the head, around the hands that I want to draw attention to, feathering out to 20 and then adding white. Ooh, there we go, very glowy. Adjusting down the transparency of this layer a little bit so it's not quite so startling. And I'm going to add that original glow back in there. Yes, that was there, so very glowy. I'm ready now to flatten the image and add some special lighting effects. I'm selecting again some of these areas where I wanted the viewer's eyes to go, the hands and the head. I'm selecting the filters menu, going down to lighting effects, uh, render lighting, lighting effects, and putting little spotlights on the hands where she's got her fireballs of power. And then again selecting the head so we have, we could see the, the head very nicely, see the face of this lady very nicely. And essentially that's it. What I'm doing now is adding a frame to the picture. There we go. And I'm selecting the brush where I have my signatures. I'm going to add a signature. And I add it to the wrong layer, so I have to start over and do it again. But there we are. Here's our final product. To review quickly, we start out with our figure on the transparent background, add some highlighting to enhance the shape, add the background, do a little enhancement to the background, add our magical trails by Pat Slash, uh, do some figure enhancement to bring out the colors in the figure, make it transparent around the edges, add our blue shadows, our orange highlights, Add a glow to the figure. Use some lighting techniques to add glow to the fireballs. And there we are. We start out here with our plain figure. 
And then we end up with our spectacular good luck goddess flying through space. As is always true in Photoshop, the techniques I've used here are not the only way to get this kind of a look, maybe not even the best way, but I just wanted to use these to get your creativity flowing so that I hope that you will be brave enough to experiment and get your own spectacular renders. Good evening, class. Good evening, class. Good evening, class. Good evening, class.